sun is slowly coming up and it seems like the infected have mostly wandered off. And I'd say that's really good news. We get to see another day. <laughs> well, you could go out there if you'd like, but you're welcome to stay, of course, provided you'd like to hear some more stories. Oh, very well. <laughs> well, I certainly do have more. Let's see, what can I remember? Oh, yes. Well, as we both know, survival is no joke, especially nowadays. We can be faced with some of our biggest challenges and somehow still come out on top. Obviously, this is not always the case. Some have less luck than others, and some survive longer by working together. It really is a matter of how you go about it all in the end. This reminds me of two people who had to work together against all odds in one of the worst situations possible. A rock in a hard place, so to speak. They had to choose an uncertain fate over certain doom. They were left fearing that they'd only delayed their fates. This story starts on an island resort far away from everything in the mainland. However, the outbreak still happened there too. Until we were left with what seemed to be only two survivors, Mike and David. Are you almost done? Almost there. Just be patient with me, David. I'd love to, Mike, but we're about to become food for those things. They're almost here! Uh, then stay quiet while I finish this. Fucking hell, we're not gonna make it. No way they don't see us out in this open beach. There. Finished. Pick up the crate. We're leaving. Shit, shit, shit. They see us! Hurry, hurry, come on, come on. Let's get the fuck out of here. You fuckers! They were quite happy to be leaving the island, and just on time. They had been there for a long while, but what would lie ahead would be far from easy for them. God, we're gonna die out here! Calm down, David. I know what I'm doing. Tell me, why did we have to do this? It's pretty obvious that nobody was gonna save us from that island. It's been weeks, and everyone seems dead. We need to go out there and either warn the world, or at the very least, save our asses. That's why. Did you want to stay in that death trap? Of course not! Just feel like maybe there was a better way is all. When you figure it out, let me know. Not that we can change course now. <sighs> They'd been bathing in the sun for the past few days, making their journey a very difficult one. Oh shit, it's hot today. You mean more than the last five days? I don't know how much more I can take of this. Oh, if my calculations are correct, we should be seeing land soon. That's what you said like three days ago. Trust me, we're on the right path. The current is supposed to run past the island towards the mainland. We've been without a sail, we're going the right way. I just hope you're right. I'm sorry, I'm just so tired. We're running out of food and water. I know, buddy. Let's just have a bit of faith, all right? But after every heat wave, always comes the storm. This would truly test the perseverance. Hold on! 
David. I'm trying, but I don't know how much I can hold on. Don't you fucking let go, man. What's the point anyway? We're just gonna die out here. Might as well just let go now and get it over with. Don't talk like that. We're gonna make it. We're gonna find land soon. We fucking have to. At this point, they had run out of food weeks ago. They were also running out of hope. Come on! I doubt we'll catch anything out here. I think we're lost, but I also think we're a little too far out. No shit! I'm starving, so instead of doing nothing, I'm going to try at least! <sighs> Doesn't really matter. I think you're right at this point, David. About what? We're out of food, and it's not raining enough for us to get out of water to drink. <sighs> like I said, I'm going to try. David had become the optimistic one, where Mike had begun to fear the worst. The boys were drained of all energy. Weak from the lack of food, their bodies had almost no fat left to eat, or to keep them warm. Luckily, the rainwater kept them going for as long as they did. But Mike had been battling with himself for the past few days. However, he simply could no longer fight. His instincts took over his mind and his heart. Sometimes, surviving means doing things we'd rather not. There's no way of knowing what lies ahead in the toughest of times. In our darkest moments, the will to survive drives us to act. Driven to act, the present becomes everything. Yeah, that's definitely somebody out there. Looks like that's just one fellow, though. The future is meaningless in the face of oblivion. We're all animals driven by instinct at the end of the day. Fuck. What have I done? I suppose if you manage to see another day, then you've done what had to be done. In a harsh world, the price is bound to be a very, very heavy one.